Hi, I am Cani Reza and welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I have been demonstrating lessons on the, on the unit of uh, safety. And through this unit or through this theme, we're studying about rules and responsibilities. And of course, we're using a little icon, an animal icon, to represent uh, a class mascot or a class logo that's going to, that's teaching us rules. Let's begin with the lesson. The first thing we do is gather the children in front of us so that they're close to me, close to my chart, and I'm able to interact with them. What is the first thing we do when we introduce a science lesson? Novelty. What is our novelty? Our little monkey. And by now the children know that this is a monkey and his name is Chiki. Chiki has been teaching us a lot about rules and responsibilities. So let's review. We talked about that this is a monkey. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to review a lot of the words. I may not go through each word, but I'm going to go through highlight words. Because remember, my goal is for children to be able to identify the pictures, identify the words, and some children are even reading. I will say, tell me something about my chicky. He is a monkey. He has two eyes, a mouth. He lives in the jungle. He likes to get on branches. And the monkey likes to eat bananas. So review all of this. Talk about it very briefly for maybe about four or five minutes. Now let's move our little monkey here so I can have space to demonstrate. Yesterday we talked about bananas. We observed the Cavendish banana, the Nino banana, the red banana, and the plantain banana, and we talked about it. Today, what we're going to do is identify our specific objective. We are going to identify, we're going to talk about the banana plant, the banana plant, and we are going to talk about the tree. Compare the two. So I'm going to put this one here because we're going to talk about the tree leaf. So we're going to spell it out. T-R-E-E -E, leaf. L-E-A-F. So our specific objective, we're going to compare a banana we, they're familiar with banana plant already, but we're going to look at the leaf, the specifics. Like, what does the leaf look like? So we're going to compare the two. Remember, yesterday we compared different types of bananas. So today, and we discussed where the banana comes from. We had the cycle. So today, we are going to talk about the leaf. And this is information I'm just giving you. This is not what you tell the children. So let's go on with our lesson. Today we are going to compare a banana leaf. So let's write banana leaf. B A N A N A. Banana leaf. L E A F. So now these are both a banana leaf and a tree leaf. I want you to just look at the picture how different they are. But of course, this is. I want to emphasize this is a banana, it's called a plant, and this is called a tree. So for my engagement, what do I want? I want children to be able to use a science tool, which are going to use a magnifying glass. And I am going to give, I'm going to form them into small groups of two to three children. And guess what they get? They're going to get to observe a banana leaf. Look at what a banana leaf looks like. It is unbelievable. When the children see this, they go, wow, that's a banana leaf. Yes, one leaf. Look at it here. They're going to, one group, a couple of, I'm going to have several of these leaves. So if I have two, if I have six, six groups, three groups will get the banana leaf. 
and three groups are going to get a tree leaf. This is a tree leaf. This is one of the largest leaves that I could find. So they're going to get a tree leaf and they're going to describe it. So now I form my groups and you know what? I'm not sure if I have uh, discussed how I would form groups. I would say one, two, three. If I want three children per group, I count one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And those three get together. So one group is going to get, several groups are going to get a banana leaf and a, a little friend magnifier. And they're going to get to observe with their eyes. They're going to get to touch with their hands. They're going to get to smell with their nose. And they're going to get to hear it with their ears. Remember how I mentioned that we use all our senses? Of course, for this particular activity, I do not want him to taste it because it could be dangerous or poisonous to some children. Of course, we do not taste it. We do not use the sense of, t of, of taste with this. And then, of course, the one that's using the banana leaf, they also get their magnifier and they're going to get to observe. And I guarantee you some children may even want to put it next to them to see how tall it is. Because there are some children in pre-K, you know, three, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, that could be almost as tall as this leaf. So I allow them to go into their small groups. Everyone will receive the magnifier. Only one leaf per group, and they all get to observe. I give them time and I tell them, use your eyes to observe, use your magnifying lens, use your ears, use your nose, your sense of touch, feel it, feel the two and see how it feels. So they get to touch both and they get to observe the back of it on both of them. And of course, later, this leaf will stay in one of the centers, it'll stay around. So those children, they got to observe the leaf, the tree leaf, will have a chance to come and feel the banana leaf. This is fascinating for children, fascinating. So now that they have finished observing, I've given them time to use their senses to observe and investigate and to identify and to describe. Look at everything that they're doing. Now we're going to do a comparison. Can you imagine a four-year-old comparing a banana leaf to a tree leaf? That is exciting. So now I ask him, tell me what you observed with your eyes from the banana leaf. It is green. Good. So I'm going to write green here. It is green. Yes, you're right. What about oh, green, the end? Sorry, I forgot that. What did, what did you observe about the tree leaf? Green. Good. So it is also green. Green. Now, what about... How does it feel? What, oh, before we go on, what else did you observe about the leaf? What else? Oh, it has some lines. It has lines. They observed that, that it has a big, on the front, a line. Line. Lines. We'll say lines. You know, in our math activity, we talked about lines. What about the tree leaf? Oh, it has lines too. Very good. Lines. Those little lines, we call them veins. So it also has lines. Oh, so they're the same, but yet. They made a big wow with this, so we haven't talked about the size yet. We're just observing. What did we observe? What else did you observe? It is huge, giant. Okay, let's say big. So let's just say yeah, the word big. Now, some children will say giant. We might also say giant, G-I-A-N-T. Large. They might say it is large. Very good. Now, what about the tree leaf? Oh, it is small, has points. Small.
yes this one has points now this is a good time to come back to the tree to the banana leaf does the banana leaf have points like the tree no it is straight it has a straight edge okay so this is pointed so we'll put here pointed p-o-i-n-t-e-d pointed and this has straight edge straight straight edge we'll put edge now why do we observe about our ears does it make noise yeah this flaps there's a flapping sound flap so let's say flap f l a p what about this one does it make any noise nope no noise so we'll put no noise n o i is e no noise what about how it feels oh this feels like this feels very much guess what like a little monkey it feels soft this one feels soft oh like a stuffed animal okay let's say stuffed animal soft like a stuffed animal soft and we'll go ahead and put here stuffed S T U F F E D stuffed animal. What about this one? What about the oh it feels it feels rough. Rough like what? Oh like the floor, the carpet rough like some children would say like my tennis shoes like my jeans yes i like them to be able to tell me that so this one is rough r-o-u-g-h rough look at all did i have to give them all this information no look at the information that they gathered through their investigation by observing a real object that I, I can't imagine something more exciting for children and a better learning than to do their own investigation and learning. After we finish, we'll say, so what is a big difference between a banana leaf and a tree leaf? The size. Because they're both green, they both have lines which are veins. They, uh, well, one makes noise, one doesn't make noise. But the, but look at green, and they have lines, which means they have veins. So that's that's the biggest difference is that one is huge, and one is small. Look at the huge difference between one and the other. He big and small. Yet this is what gives us bananas. This is a plant that gives us bananas so of course when we complete we go through we you can go through your um uh, literature and for this particular lesson i chose a book that's called respect and take care of things we have looked at a lot of books about bananas but remember I'm teaching rules and responsibilities. I want them to learn to respect the environment, our plants. Can you imagine if everybody tears down or climbs or, or, or goes around and cuts leaves and trees? We wouldn't have bananas. So I want the children to understand, you know what? We need to respect our environment because I wanna, I, I wanna have healthy trees, healthy plants, beautiful flowers let's respect the grass in front of our school so this is a book that i would recommend our literature connected through literacy literacy and it does talk about how to respect and of course this is book is by, by sherry j mainers or minors and uh we have been looking at this series as well on rules and responsibilities now what about
connect to liter through technology. What would I recommend with technology? I probably would would say banana leaf. Banana, and of course, instead of plant, it would be banana leaf. Can you imagine what children are going to get to see? After looking at this one, do you think they will want to go and get into the internet and see all the big leaves all around? Absolutely. But guess what? Those children, they are more curious. And that's what we're building with everybody. We want every child to be curious. They're going to want to look at tree leaves to look at other kinds of leaves. And are they all the same? Are all the tree leaves the same? That's what they can look on the internet. Are all banana leaves the same? Yes, but trees, it's a big variety. Now, to conclude our lesson, let's summarize. Tell me one thing you learned about a banana leaf. Huge, they're big, that's the first thing they're gonna say. Tell me one thing you learned about the tree leaf. So of course I go around and let children share 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 about what they learned today it's very exciting because yesterday they learned the cycle of the banana so today they look at more specifics this concludes the lesson on safety and it's a follow-up from the cycle of the bananas this is a follow-up so join me to show you how you can carry it into the next day. How can you extend this to the next day? Thank you.